Hi, I'm David with Stack Equipment. Just want to touch base today on a customer complaint. Uh, a customer came in saying his tractor was underpowered. Uh, it's been getting worse and needed us to look at it. Tractor's overheating after 15, 20 minutes. So we're doing some diagnosis on the tractor. The tractor is a 73 horsepower tractor. We're going to do a dyno test on the tractor to test what horsepower it is putting in out at 540 RPM. We test this to see if the tractor is underpowered, if it's overfueling, if it's not getting enough air or breathing correctly, and it can help us diagnose many different situations and scenarios and also gives us a way of testing the tractor under load in the yard and not out in the field. It works by putting a load on the tractor's PTO and we can increase that load and test the tractor's strength. When the customer came in and was saying his tractor's underpowered, would we look at it? We want to go over a few questions and a few points first. Is he doing something different? What is the operation that he's trying to do where he's finding his over, overheating? Is it just running around the farm? Is he have experienced any leaks? Is he using any different equipment? Um, has he changed his fuel supply? Has he blown out his air filters or the radiators? Uh, open and free, cleaned out, washed out, make sure there's no dust, dirt, debris in there. Uh, can the tractor technically breathe okay? Is it getting fuel? Um, we went through with the customer, is he changing his operation? Has he gone from a six foot cutter to a 10 foot cutter? Uh, has he changed his baler out? What is his situation? Has he leased some different land that has more slopes and banks on it that he's putting the tractor under a load? These are all different questions we'll try to go through to diagnose what the problem is with the tractor before we dig into it. Here we verify that the PTO speed is 540. And we are going to go to uh, transmission. So this is a PTO dynamometer. What it does is test the horsepower of a tractor by connecting to the PTO shaft of the tractor we can actually see how much horsepower is being produced by the tractor through the PTO shaft. So by using the PTO dynamometer what we do is we set the speed to PTO 540 or 1000 speed. By closing this valve off it increases the pressure in the system and increases the load onto the tractor. By reading this gauge we see what horsepower it is putting out at 540 rpm or 1000 rpm depending on the input to the dynamometer. By using this machine in the yard what we can do is test or mimic a load in the field of how much the tractor is underpowered or if it has an overheating issue and we can actually statically put a load on the tractor and measure what the tractor is doing and how it is responding to the load that's being put on it. So basically we're measuring the fuel return from the injectors. So whatever the fuel consumption of the injector is, whatever it don't use, it flows back through. And if it flows too much fuel back through, it can cause the engine to overheat, basically signifying that the injector's getting too much fuel. So we're gonna measure that. We hook these to the return line on the fuel injectors. And while it's running under a load, we're gonna measure it and see how much fuel it dumps. So if they're all consistently equal, you know all the injectors perform at the same rate. If you got one that's drastically different, then we'll isolate that injector and investigate it further. After our dyno tests, um, engine operated normal temperatures, uh, we cut the AC on, we ran the horsepower up to 65, uh, let it run for five minutes, uh, hooked our bottles up and watched the fuel overflow. And as you can tell, these two are just below three, two and a half to three, and these are up around three and a half to four. So it shows that the front two cylinders are saturated with fuel. Fuel return line is dumping it in here and that shows that the fuel uh, injectors are overfueling. So at this point, we'll replace the two front injectors. Uh, some of you might ask why the front two and maybe the back two is 
you know, not producing enough. But if the back two were, wasn't producing enough, then you tractor would be skipping and popping and you'd have performance issues there that you could uh, visually see. So we'll put the injectors in, we'll re recode them and we'll go from there. All right, so at this point, we're ready to change the injectors out. Uh, we've deemed the number one and number two cylinders do have bad injectors, they're over fueling. So at this point, we uh, have removed some access to get to the injectors. We take the fuel lines off, uh, the fuel connections off. Uh, then we take the nut holding the injectors loose and then remove the injectors. Uh, we will confirm the serial number does match the number assigned to it in the computer to verify that it's pulsing correctly. And then we will install the new injector. The new injector does have numbers we'll have to enter into the computer to assign it as parameters. And then we'll retest it on the dyno. So once we get the new injectors installed, we'll get back with you and we'll retest it. So we've changed uh, number one and number two injector. Uh, we've documented the serial numbers that we're gonna go into the Coyote system and actually code the injector numbers to the ECU. So we'll come in here, coding, apply, and we wanna change the uh, serial number for cylinder number one. Uh, I've already written them down here. So as you pull them out, you wanna document them so you don't lose that information. So we'll copy this one. Well, we'll go back in here. We'll paste and write. All right, welcome back. So we've changed our injectors. We ran the engine, check for leaks. Uh, check to ensure that everything's connected properly. We checked for our fault codes, cleared our codes out. Um, so the next thing we did is actually insert the serial number off the fuel injector to code it to the ECU. That way the injector knows the pulse time parameter set and we're gonna hook it up to the dyno and retest it. All right, so last time we met, we had the injector overfueling. So on our uh, measurements here, we had four and a half, five, and we had three on these. So the front injectors were overfueling. We have replaced the fuel injectors. Uh, we've got the engine warmed up to normal operating temperature. Uh, so we're gonna start the tractor back up, 540 RPMs. We're gonna set the dyno on 62 horsepower and we're gonna watch and see if it's properly fueling now. So let's get started. Set our dyno here to 62 horsepower. And we're still at 540. RPM, so that tells us that's our maximum. So as you can tell, it's properly fueling now. All the containers are exactly even. That's what you want to see. So we think we fixed our overheating problem. So we went from troubleshooting it to verifying the belts were properly tensioned, the coolant level, water pump flow, um, fuel injectors, and now we've resolved our problem. So we'll let it run a little longer on the dyno just to confirm it, make sure everything's 100%, then we'll call the customer and deliver it back to them. 